Welcome to this lesson. And what does the word product mean in maths? All it means is the answer that you get when you multiply two or more things together in maths. So what's the product of two and three? It's simply the answer you get when you multiply those two numbers together. So two times three equals six. So the product of two and three is six. What's the product of two, four, W and F, it's just the answer you get when you multiply those four things together. So 2 times 4 times W times F is equal to, well, 2 times 4 is 8, and then 8 times W times F you would write as 8WF. So 8WF is the product of 2, 4, W and F. What's the product of 3 and X plus 1? So, it's just the answer you get when you multiply those two things together. And you could write your answer like that. That would be a correct answer. That's the product. So, 3, then a bracket with something in the bracket. That's really a short way of writing 3 times that bracket. So, that would be a correct answer. And if you wanted to go one step further, you just multiply everything in that bracket by the number 3 at the front. So, 3 times x is 3x, and then 3 times 1 is equal to 3. So 3x plus 3 is the product of 3 and x plus 1. So both of these answers actually are the product. It's just that this final answer here is probably the answer you'd be expected to write in your maths at school. And you can have the product of other things in maths like this. What's the product of pi and r squared? Again, it's the answer you get when you multiply pi and r squared together. And pi times r squared, you would just write as pi r squared. So that's all the product means. The answer you get when you multiply two or more things together in maths. And I want to show you how to solve a worded problem that involves the word product. And this is it. The sum of two numbers is equal to 10. And their product, and their product is equal to 24. Question is, what are the two numbers? So one way of doing this problem is to start by figuring out what numbers sum to equal 10. And all sum means is the answer you get when you add two or more things together in maths. So what two numbers add up to 10? Well, 1 plus 9 equals 10. And is the product of 1 and 9 24? Well, once again, the product of 1 and 9 is the answer you get when you multiply 1 by 9, and that is 9, which is definitely not the number 24. So the two numbers in the question are not 1 and 9. What about 2 and 8? 2 and 8 definitely equals 10 when you add them together. Does 2 times 8 equal 24? No, it doesn't. It equals 16. What about 3 plus 7? 3 plus 7 equals 10, so the sum of 3 and 7 is 10. And their product, or the answer you get when you multiply them together, is 21. So we're getting closer to 24. So 4 plus 6, the sum of 4 and 6 definitely equals 10. And their product, the answer you get when you multiply them together, definitely equals 24. So the numbers 4 and 6 are the two numbers that answer this question. The sum of two numbers is 10, and their product is 24. What are the two numbers? So that's a simple worded question that involves the product of two numbers. So this is one way of solving this type of problem. You could use algebra to solve this problem as well. It's a little bit more complicated, and that's for another lesson. So that's really about it for this lesson. Just remember, the product of two things or two or more things in maths is just the answer you get when you multiply those things together.